Good afternoon, El Segundo. It's Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. My name is Martha Guzman Hurtado. I'm the communications manager with the city of El Segundo, and I hope you're staying safe. Uh, we continue to monitor the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the county and city. To date, public health has identified 249,859 positive cases of COVID-19 across all areas of LA County in a total of 6,090 deaths. El Segundo has had 125 positive cases, currently has four cases and one death. Our deepest condolences go out to all the loved ones who've lost a life due to COVID-19. It's all up to us to slow the spread of COVID-19. Wear a face covering, keep physical distancing, and wash your hands. Today, the LA County Department of Public Health announced that door-to-door -door trick or treating will not be allowed this Halloween to reduce the transmission of the virus, especially among our children. Per the health order, events, gatherings, and parties with individuals outside of your household are still not allowed. The county did put out new guidance on how to celebrate Halloween safely. You can find that guidance at elsegundo.org on the coronavirus updates page. Last month, Governor Gavin Newsom issued a color-coded tiered system for the state with criteria each county must meet to reopen certain businesses and allow schools to reopen. LA County remains in tier one of the plan outlined in purple and deemed as widespread transmission. One key threshold the county needs to meet before moving to tier two is getting the the seven-day average of new cases per day down to seven cases per 100,000 people. Currently, the county is at 11 per 100,000 people. The numbers are moving in the right direction, but everyone is encouraged to continue to do their part. On Monday, September 14th, Los Angeles County will allow schools to offer on-campus services for small groups of K-12 through students who need support, learning support, including children with special needs. Waivers are not required, but schools must submit an operational plan to the Department of Public Health and comply with the health officer order. The city of El Segundo launched the Be Kind to Your Mind mental wellness campaign to bring the community resources to handle stresses stemming from the uncertainties of COVID-19. As part of the campaign, a series of videos shared on social media, ElSegundo.org and El Segundo Media Channel 3, will cover a wide range of mental health topics. The goal is to encourage the community to talk about mental health issues and reduce the stigma associated with needing help. If you need to talk to somebody, support is just a phone call or text away. Please reach out to the LA County helpline at 800-854-7771 or text the letters LA to 741-741. The City of El Segundo Recreation and Parks Department is now accepting reservations for Brett Field and Softball Field for members of the same household. The fields will be open for limited use and reservations are required. Additionally, a waiver must be signed by an adult and is mandatory for entry. For more information, visit elsegundorecparks.org. The City Council is currently accepting applications for committees, commissions, and board positions. To see a complete list of the immediate openings and to apply, visit the City's website at elsegundo.org and click on the news item on the home page. The census deadline is right around the corner. The deadline is September 30th. The complete and accurate count in El Segundo will mean the city receives its fair share of funding for crucial programs and services over the next decade. El Segundo currently has a 76.2 response rate. Let's get to 100% El Segundo. You can visit 2020census.gov today and be counted. We will continue the live community update on Facebook next Wednesday at 3 o'clock. I hope you uh, will join me back here at that time. For more information and the latest city-related news, visit the city's website at elsegundo.org or visit the city's Facebook page. Have a great week, everyone, and stay safe.